tips, tips, tips with Tony. Tips, tips, tips with Tony. All about nutrition from your favorite dietitian. Everything you need to digest in your mind. Tips, tips, tips with Tony. Tips, tips, tips with Tony. Making you healthier one bite at a time. Tip with Tony. Tip with Tony. Tip with Tony. Hello and welcome to the Tips with Tony podcast. I'm Tony Marinucci, your registered dietitian, helping you get healthy one bite at a time. Today I am reading a comment I got on a post that I did maybe, you know, a year ago and not related to the post at all. This person could have probably messaged me, but they asked the question publicly, which is fine. Um, so I figured if they asked it publicly, I can answer it publicly. Um, this is the question. I'm trying to lose weight. I have been for about a year. I cut my calories and was very successful for a while. I lost 14 kilograms, which is equivalent to about 20, 30 pounds. But now I'm stuck. I eat around 800 calories a day, but I'm gaining a bit of weight. If I go higher, obviously... I'll gain weight, but if I stay eating what I am gaining, what yet I drop any lower, I pass out, get dizzy, feel sick, etc. So I'm kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place. Does anyone have any advice? Oh, so much to say. So much to say. Okay. So this is why low calorie meal plans don't work in the long run. For so many reasons. It's really unhealthy to undereat because, guys, food is fuel, food is nourishment. And if you're only eating 800 calories a day, then you're not able to get, forget about like your macronutrients, things you need in large quantities, carbs, protein, and fat. But within nutrient dense sources of macronutrients, we have our micronutrients, things like vitamin A, vitamin C, our, our, our minerals, um, you know, our other things that are really great for our immune system. And it's just, it's impossible to get a variety of those, you know, items through a very low calorie plan. It's why even in a hospital setting, and assuming I'm not talking about like if someone's on like two feeds or whatever, but I got in a hospital setting um, where, you know, they're maybe on bed rest and they're eating whole foods, the lowest calorie meal plan that will be ever be prescribed in a hospital for an elderly woman, for example, is going to be 1,200 calories because at minimum, we need at least 1,200 calories to be able to get all the nutrients. Can you take supplements to fill the gaps? Yeah, sure, whatever. But your body is going to absorb it best through food. Calories are also a unit of energy and we need energy. This woman is getting dizzy from under eating 800 calories or under because she's not getting enough energy and her and also not enough electrolytes, which also come through food, right? So there are so many reasons why we never want to limit our calorie intake to below 1200. And even beyond that, if someone is, you know, five foot eight and they exercise five to six days a week and they're um, a 35 year old woman, we also don't want them to only eat 1200 calories you probably want to have you know I don't I can't give I'm not talking calories here in ranges because everyone is unique and everyone is different but everybody should be having more than 1200 calories a day I'd probably even argue more than 1500 calories a day 1500 calorie if you're a male 1200 calorie if you're a female um, and that's the minimum but even beyond that I would say you know everybody probably listening to this needs at least 1500 calories even if you're trying to lose weight Okay. Um, okay. So what's happening with this woman? Well, the reason why she's starting to gain weight back is because when we lose weight, our body, our body's metabolism slows down because someone who say is 200 pounds doesn't need as many calories as someone who is 150 pounds. Right. And then what happens is, is your body loses weight and your calorie needs then change, but then it's not sustainable. And so say, for example, you now eat a little bit more than your body was burning. Um, now your calorie needs, you know, even though now you gain the weight back and say now you're back at 200 pounds, 
your body still thinks you weigh 150 pounds. So your metabolism, every time you attempt dieting, every time you diet, you are slowing, not every time, but most of the time through those extreme cases, you are slowing down the metabolism. And what's happening with this woman, and obviously I don't know the details. Um, in the beginning of her comment, she had mentioned like, I don't even know, I'm assuming it's a she actually. Um, I don't know, the person doesn't have the picture. Um, they said something about like, I can't afford counseling. Who can you please just answer this? <laughs> so I'm trying my best without context here. Um, but assuming that the reason why this woman is now gaining the weight back is because her body is probably kicking in. So I don't even know if this woman is underweight, overweight, I'm talking about like BMI standards, whether that's accurate or not is irrelevant, but kind of like, is there weight to lose still? Is there not weight to lose still? Is this person in the depths of an eating disorder? I have no idea, right? I, I have no idea. Or is it just like wrapped up in diet culture and disordered eating because she, that's just what she thinks is possible for weight loss? I have no idea. Hello, hello. I am interrupting this podcast episode to let you know that the Mindset Reset Accelerator course is now available. If you are tired of having diets holding you back, are you? if you're tired of feeling like you can't get out of, even though you're not on a diet, you're still restricting yourself, you're still you know, not eating foods freely, and you're ready to say hello to balance, well then this course is for you. Because without the right mindset, you don't have a foundation. And without a solid foundation, you'll have trouble creating anything of value. So using the education inside this course, I'm going to help you to break free from the mindset that's holding you back and strengthen the one that will help you not only reach your goals, but feel great while doing so. You can learn more by going to the link in my show notes. And if you sign up before April 15th, you will get $50 off. So take advantage of the early bird special and I hope to see you on the inside. But the point is, is that my guess is that her metabolism has slowed down significantly and is really freaking the F out. And basically is like, well, anytime you give me food, I am going to make sure that we hold on to that, right? And it doesn't always scientifically happen exactly as I'm explaining it. But the point is, is that her metabolism is pretty shot. And so she, in order for her to continue to lose weight, she's going to have to keep decreasing her calories, but there's nowhere for her to go. She can't eat nothing as you tell when she goes super low, then she faints and then she gets dizzy and then that's not healthy. So my recommendation to her was to slowly start to add calories back in and she probably will gain some weight at first but eventually it will stabilize and eventually her metabolism will be much healthier and she herself will be healthier and so just as a reminder for you guys the number on the scale what you weigh does not determine your health what you eat how you feel you know your habits those are the real things that are really excuse me, driving your health. So don't do what she did. (laughs) If you're eating low calories, add more. Slowly but surely, add more and add balance. Add a little bit more carbs. Add a little bit more protein. Add a little bit more fat. Add a little bit more fruit. Add a little bit more veggies. Add a little bit of this nutrient and add a little bit of that. And do your best to eat enough and honor your hunger and fullness cues. Now, someone like her, her hunger and fullness cues are completely distraught. So she first needs to just eat more, be uncomfortable with the weight gain, and just trust that once she stabilizes and just starts to eat enough for her body, her body will eventually stop like gaining that weight back. But what what we don't want to do is if she just like starts to like add all these calories back in really quickly now her body probably will gain the weight and some and also never she never really would learn how to eat in a balanced way so once again guys this is a very out of context question I just thought it was worth addressing um and you know for those of you who are feeling like you know she had mentioned she's not being able to afford work you know, coaching, I understand being in a position where sometimes that's difficult. Um, but I, I feel like congrats to you guys for like just listening to this podcast. Um, there, there might be a person that you can talk to even just for like a one session, just to like get clarity on what it is that you need so that you can just learn a little bit rather than trying to do it on your own and wasting your entire life feeling absolutely frustrated and, you know, playing with the number on the scale rather than living her life 
and just being fully present within it, right? So uh, maybe it might be time for a reframe. If any of you are thinking things like, I can't afford it, ask yourself, how can I afford working with someone who is going to get me the results that I need and something that's going to invest in my future self? Um, There are a lot of ways in which you can learn. Even, for example, my course, the Healthy Living Foundations course, it's only $97. you know, you can find it on my website and that's a great tool for you to learn how to at least eat balanced instead of, you know, being on a diet and to eat mindfully and all that. And we actually have a new course coming out really soon. Um, details to be determined, but um, we kind of already um, have been recording it and putting it out there. And we have actually, we have a couple people got the early bird special and are already in. So I guess if you're interested in any of my courses, you can always just message me on Instagram at tips underscore with underscore Tony with an I and just say, Hey Tony, can you send me more information about your courses? And I'll send it to you that way. Or you can go straight to my website where the healthy livings foundations course is posted on my website Um, The other course that's coming out is not yet, and it might not be because I don't know how to (laughs) update my website. It's actually horrible. I got it redone a few months ago. I think I got it done last year, two years ago maybe at this point. And since then, I for don't know my password, and I haven't updated it. So there you go. It still says in my bio that I've been a dietitian for five years. I've been a dietitian for 10. (laughs) So (laughs) there's that. Um... But anyways, that's it for me today. Thank you guys for your patience. I know I'm not really been I haven't been putting out these podcast episodes consistently or regularly like I used to. Um, kind of reframing the, some things, restructuring things, um, thinking about how I want to go about this going forward without expending too much um, energy in a bazillion places, but really more so providing focused, quality, rich content in the places that I choose. So thank you for your patience. Love you lots. As always, this is Tony Marinucci, your registered dietitian, helping you get healthy one bite at a time.